Welcome to your Optavia Lifebook audio channel. My name is Christy Baker and I'm going to be reading to you from Element 10 in your Lifebook by Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson. Today we're taking a dive into part two of Element 10 starting on page 208. Before we get started, would you please just take a quick second and push the like button and subscribe to the channel? That would really help us get this off the ground. Thank you so much. All right, let's go. Healthy hydration choices beyond water. Below is a list of healthy choices to keep yourself hydrated. Teas, both hot and iced, have all kinds of health benefits, but make sure that you do not add milk, which inactivates the healthy phenoic compounds, and naturally, don't add sugar. Green tea, in particular, is full of health benefits from decreasing inflammation and preventing cancers to improving your learning and memory. Studies show that many benefits of coffee due to its high level of antioxidants. They have proved that it decreases depression, reduces the risk of some cancers, and may help you live longer. It may also show slow down cognitive decline, boost your mood, increase stamina, and even protect against adult diabetes. Yay for coffee! And by the way, coffee and tea are not diuretics. Coffee is a diuretic. It makes you go to the bathroom more often, so it must dehydrate you, right? Well, not so. It turns out that this idea dates back to a 1928 study that wasn't exactly rigorous research. Nonetheless, the results spread like wildfire, and ever since, caffeine has been considered a diuretic. Now, a recent study finds that coffee and caffeine in other drinks won't, in fact, cause dehydration. Infusers that are designed to provide additional vitamins, minerals, or other healthy supplementation are a great way to purposely purposefully make sure that your body is adequately hydrated throughout the day and evening. It's important that any infusers you use have minimal calories. As mentioned earlier, we have a purposeful hydration system that supplements as well as makes it easier to fulfill your habit of drinking eight glasses of water a day. Here are some suggestions for healthy hydration. Purified water, bottled water, reverse osmosis water, tea, coffee, and infused water that is calorie free. Pick which sources of hydration that you are currently using or that you are going to add to your 64 ounces a day. So take a moment, text those to yourself so you can remind maybe to pick up some infusers on the way home tonight before you um, get home. And here's a little note, it says, don't use thirst as a guide to your water intake. Thirst is a late warning system of dehydration. Waiting till, until you're thirsty to drink means that your body has been functioning at less than optimal efficiency for several hours. How do I know if I'm not drinking enough? If you start to feel tired, have trouble thinking, develop a headache, or you notice that your urine is darker than usual, these are late stage signs that you need to drink more water. Urine should almost be colorless unless you have just taken vitamins. So there's some great tips for today. We'll stop here, ending on page 209, and make sure you get your at least 64 ounces of water in today. Thank you for joining me.